this weekend as the preparations were being readied for the Wednesday land breaking ceremony, the foundation stone laying ceremony in Ayodhya, there was also a simultaneous event taking place. The Sunni Waqf Board of Lucknow was handed over five acres of land that's been decided by Supreme Court. While the Waqf Board has accepted and a trust has been made in order to oversee the building of the mosque that is going to come up there, which is not very far from Ayodhya and the disputed site, a lot of the litigants who were part of the original case have distanced themselves from this because they say that they're not happy about this and they don't accept that piece of land. With me, the spokesperson of the trust that has been formed in order to oversee building that mosque, Atar Hussain, thank you so much for speaking with us. First of all, the fact that it's just the, you know, the Waqf board which has accepted it and they say that's, you know, a government to government thing, it's a government body, but the Muslim community at large doesn't accept the five acres or the Muslim community in the area doesn't really accept or want another alternate site. How do you feel about that? First of all, I want to say that as for the uh, 2019 November judgment, the Supreme, Honorable Supreme Court has very clearly stated that this five acre land will be given to the UP Sunni Central Bar Board in lieu of the land which was there at the time when the Babri Masjid, the then Babri Masjid was there. So, the things are very settled. This land has been given to UP Sunni Central Work Board. And UP Sunni Central Work Board has formed a trust and has given this land to the trust to build that mosque. So, now when some litigants who were obviously there and they were pursuing the uh, this uh, judicial procedure from the beginning, when they make this claim that they have not been consulted and, and they wanted to be part of it, like one of the uh, litigants from Ayodhya has said. So, the question does not arise whether the work board include the idea or not. The idea is that whether they made any representation to the board once this order came. Number two, the most important factor is that UP Sunni Central Work Board is an autonomous body and it has members elected. The structure of the uh, work board is like that. They have elected members too. And within that, those members, they elect and constitute the board and they give the responsibilities to the different members. So, there is a wide-ranging representation. You cannot make this accusation that it is a government-to-government -government transfer. So, so, can you tell us what the plans for this five-acre land are? Because have you, while we are seeing over here, the same people who were part of the Somnath temple are going to be building this grand Ram temple in Ayodhya. Can you give us some kind of indication of what the Muslim side is planning? Uh, basically, our idea is that uh, when we've got this piece of land, the idea is that we have a mosque built. It might be the exactly the same size of the then uh, Babri Masjid which was there. And obviously, this five acre is a large piece of land. So, we can provide some community service to the people who are around because it has been a tradition in India whether it be the mosque, whether it be the dargah, even mandirs, you know, since last century, if you see, they have been the main source of providing community service to that. And this tradition has gone, I would say, I wouldn't say that it's discontinued, but it's not in so much of practice right now. So we want to build that tradition and uh, we, within our uh, trust, a few members have suggested that it would be a good idea because of the pandemic situation, as we see, it's a medical emergency and there's shortage of beds all over. And that area, especially the Fezabad and Ayodhya, it's considered a backward district in terms of uh, health infrastructure. So we are very keen to come up with a state-of-the-art uh, super specialty hospital where at least the residents around can avail the best facility and uh, as far as the uh, critical care is concerned. Then obviously the idea is that we, as we have named, it is Indo-Islamic Cultural Foundation. So we want to showcase the uh, and promote the influence of Indo-Islamic culture on the Indian society it, through whether it be the uh, art, literature and uh, uh, the direct impact on the economy there has been like for example uh, Raja Todarmal of uh, Bashar Akbar 
इज कंसिडर्ड द प्रिंसिपल फाउंडर ऑफ द प्रेजेंट रेवेन्यू सिस्टम तो वी हैव टू प्रमोट दोज वर्क एंड ब्रिंग दैम टू इन द पब्लिक डिस्कोर्स तो इट विल बी अ रिसर्च सेंटर टू दे मे बी अ पब्लिशिंग हाउस टू प्रमोट दैट रिसर्च एंड अ म्यूजियम दिस इज ऑल इन प्लान बट एज ऑफ नाउ सिंस द कोविड सिचुएशन we have not been able the trust people have not been able to sit across the table and we have only been discussing through uh, uh, web uh, dis- uh, interactions so once things eases out and are normal so we'll have a plan and we'll bring in the public discourse so a museum a hospital and a research center publishing houses what you're planning uh, obviously like you're saying could you elaborate on how is the museum going to be the one which is going to pay tribute to uh, what used to be babri masjid no i am not saying it's not tribute to mosque because again i'll repeat i've said many a time for us like the who those who believe in islam every place where a namaz can be offered is sacrosanct every place and it is our sajdas which we pay in obeisance and we when we put our forehead on the ground that goes to the allah हम लोग कहते हैं उसकी कबूलियत होती है अल्लाह की इट्स नॉट द साइज ऑफ द बिल्डिंग और द नेम ऑफ द बिल्डिंग इट हैज नो मीनिंग तो आवर आइडिया इज टू शो केस द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द इंडो इस्लामिक कल्चर विच हैज बीन पार्ट ऑफ आवर सोसाइटी मतलब वी हैव ट्रेडिशन ऑफ सूफी ट्रेडिशन वी हैव दोज एन इन्फ्लुएंस इंडियन सोसाइटी राइट फ्राम ख्वाजा मोहनुद्दीन चिश्ती ऑफ अजमेर हु हैज कम वी हैव इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक even uh, big islamic seminaries those who have fought for the cause of the indian freedom struggle like deoband they were very prominent uh, in during the struggle and uh, uh, of the indian freedom movement the scholars from the deoband were part of the mahatma gandhi team here in lucknow frangi mahal we have a tradition molana uh, right. uh, frangi mahali was uh, like uh, one of the main uh, uh, supporters of mahatma gandhi when mahatma gandhi visited lucknow for the first time he stayed at ferangi mahal it was a madrasa so that kind of a tradition uh, we want to bring forward to the uh, india now 1857 movement where the entire north indian uh, uh, hindu rajas and all uh, zamindars big feudal uh, uh, zamindars of uh, uh, north india they supported a mughal emperor bahadur shah zafar This is the Sanji Virasat we want to bring for the public discourse. And you feel that the community is all united in this effort. Whatever the feedback I am having since the day we have announced uh, this uh, trust. And by when will it be ready? What? The mosque and everything else that you are planning. As, as such, you know the situation uh, of the this global emergency of pandemic. So we cannot make a commitment. We cannot compare it with the uh, Ram Mandir because there the preparation was on for the ve- very long time, and in only November 2019 we have come to know that we'll be having a five-acre land, and they were given the time. The state government was given a 90 days period. In February, we came to know this is the piece of land, yeah. and since then there is continuous uh, this uh, lockdown situation. So right now we haven't even met once. just one to one understood thank you so much mr sen thank you